This is as far as we're going. Looks like it. I guess so. All right, so now we find ourselves in a small suburban town of Macon. Macon, Georgia. This is Macon. I know that because I've played this game before. And look, that's a drugstore. And as we all know, there's only ever one drugstore in any neighborhood, so that means it's obviously the drugstore hey that there. Lee's parents own. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, 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 I guess they're not friendly. I, I don't think they're friendly at all. Or maybe they're a little bit too friendly, depending upon how you look at it. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh, I guess duck. Oh. Oh. Oh, someone saved duck. Oh, wow. Oof. Crack shot with a the pistol there. You know how hard it is to get a headshot with a pistol? From that far away? I mean, I haven't shot many guns. I've shot a couple. Once. I, I wasn't that accurate. I wouldn't trust myself with that shot. And we quickly established who's just a f fucking cunt in this scene. Just just watch this unfold. Try and figure out who the... Yeah, try to figure out who the scumbag cunts are in this scene. Oof. Okay. I'd go out there again in a just, go, just go. Just go. Yeah. I didn't mean it to sound that mean. Hey, Lily. Fuck. I was like, it's okay. Just go. Jesus you Christ. Go him, You'll have something in common. Ooh. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Oh. I just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war Ooh. zone. In a war this zone. Is this is. She's an ass. That's what it takes. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh. One of them is bitten. Oh. He wasn't bitten. Fuck you. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. And then he's like, I'm just gonna fucking murder this child. No, I'm leaving him up there. No fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. happen. We let someone with a bite, bite stay and we, we all get bitten. bitten. That's why we have to tear this child apart limb from limb with my bare hands. This guy's fuck. What an asshole. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. Weak his ass. Yeah, no, someone's like, oh, I'm gonna murder your child. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking let that happen. He's just like arguing super hard of, about the benefits of just child murder. So yeah, who do you think's the asshole in this scene? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pardon me. Yeah. I'm upsetting him. Oof. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Sit down or else. Yep. I'll f yeah. I'll fuck you up, bro. Homo parade. I'm super homo and I love parades. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Oh, pardon me. There's Sorry. I'm super here. congested. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Oh, it's probably behind the counter because I definitely don't know about this store. Yes, you are. You're not looking out for your daughter. You're arguing for killing a child. <coughs> yeah, he's all dirty. So he's all dirty. Dirty. So clearly he's bitten. What a fucking asshole. I hate this character so much. Not like as a character. She'll turn fast. Then there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is that if he is bit, he's a child. I could like snap children in half with my bare hands if I wanted to. All right, and so now, now I'm gonna be like no, and I'm gonna stop him because I I solve problems myself. This is a great speech. I'm just gonna let him talk. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Nothing like an undead dead guy to, to ease attention. All right, I'm ready. Okay, okay. All right. 
I've practiced this fucking scene over and over again. Okay. Okay. God. Whew. All right. So with that scene, you can actually fail that prompt. And um, it's, it doesn't look too good. Uh, she doesn't die. But you look like a total fucking weenie. And Lee Everett is not a weenie. And once again, okay. fucking crack shot. Just great. She hit the zombie when it was behind me. <laughs> From her perspective, the zombie was slightly behind me. Or behind me. And so I was kind of in the way, and she still managed to shoot around me and hit the zombie. So, clearly. Clearly a great character. Yeah, because being quiet will definitely... Definitely keeps them out. You're fucking stupid. Go fuck yourself, old man. Oh, great. You're having a heart attack. Good. Hope you die, motherfucker. <laughs> was he the one who was bitten? I told him to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please pity me and my father who tried to murder your children. Please help my father, my child murdering father. Uh, through the office. Another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated, educated guess. guess. You know, because I'm a professor and I'm well educated. I totally. My parents totally don't own this uh, drugstore here. My brother definitely doesn't work here. Uh, and I'm definitely not a murderer. Starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. I guess this version of Lee is just a really bad liar. <laughs> I'm an honest man. Just trying to make an honest living. Protecting his children from dead people. Okay. Cool. Uh, you're insane. You know your way around town? He's also a pizza delivery guy, so of course he knows his way around town. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Yeah. Keep a good eye on him. He's Lily and Larry. You both L's. That's right. And you want L you starts with an L? L Fucking door. loser and Doug. lame. Got it. Go fuck yourself. Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs I don't know who the voice actress for Carly is, but she's familiar. You're good shot. I'd like to keep it that way. And I feel like they base her appearance a little bit off of Rashida Jones. Just a wee bit. You know, more of that ethnically ambiguous hot girl, you know? That's kind of what I get, the kind of vibes I get from Carly. Alrighty, so this is another walk and talk section. So let's walk around and talk. First to Clementine. Always first to Clementine. Because Clementine is my surrogate daughter, and I will take care of her until the end of the world. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Oh, look at you com complimenting her. Get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Okay. Food quest begins. We should get to know each other. Are you okay? What? No, I just don't know how to talk to children. Just, uh, I'm good. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, so. it's, it's, oh, it's being good is good. good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Oh my god. The dialogue What's is great as a cake. I love it so much. Okay. I love this game so much. This is going to be most of my commentary. is just me talking about how much I love this game. Uh, and if you don't like that, you can go fuck yourself and watch something else. I love this game. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep saying it. Because... Every fucking scene, there's shit I love in it. So there's three energy bars, and you might be like, why do you need to feed Clementine three energy bars? And it's because she's a fat hoe. And no, you can give it the energy bars to three people. So let's go ahead and talk to... Let anything happen to Ducky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and talk to the, to our really? new friends. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. Well, we got pushed, and he was trying to kill your child. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn it! If like someone was doing that to me, I don't. I'd. I'd know. They just. 
they, they would have to stop. Otherwise, otherwise there'd be there'd be some big problems. How's Duck? He's okay. It's just a shock. Yeah, I would be shocked too. Nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Yep. How is she doing? Oh. She's good, I think. Her family is dead. How should I fucking know? Her family is dead. I'm not sure if you can hear that dinging in the background, but that's that's my spouse playing their word game. Their gay word game. Their word gay. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening. Yeah, it's probably a lot of that. A lot of emotional damage, you know, because her parents are fucking dead. All right, what's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. Yeah, you're probably right. You said your family was from here in Macon? Yep. Macon bacon. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Well, it's too late. I already did it, hun. I'm going to be honest. Like I said, Miley is a really bad liar, and you'd much rather be honest. I didn't say Miley Cyrus. I said Miley. I don't. I don't know if you can hear this nonsense being espoused by my wife. Just talking about Miley Cyrus for some reason. All right. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. And Duck's just silent because they forgot to record a response. Sure. I don't know if that's the case, but that's what I like to pretend. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. Yeah, you're right. You didn't try to save him. You just ran away. Uh, it happened pretty fast. It happened pretty fast. I'm going to be supportive of my new friend, Kenny. We can't kill ourselves. We killed that boy. Yeah. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad yeah, together. You kind of ran off a little bit. <laughs> That's okay, buddy. You really don't know how you're going to react to an emergency situation until you've been in one. Yep. I guess you're right. I'm going to console my friend. Kenny will remember your loyalty. See that up there? We're going to talk about that later. We're going to... We're going to talk about that later. Trust me. It's going to be... It's gonna be a thing that comes up. It's gonna be a thing. Am I recording audio? Hold on a second. And we're back. Uh, excuse me. Delicious. All right. So we just finished consoling our new best friend Kenny. We'll do our damnedest. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Who are you? Heard or seen anything? Nothing. Luckily. Wanna step outside? Have a look. Hell no. I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. You oh. can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, uh, not now. Uh, not right now. All right. Let me know if you want to. So that's all he has to say. Uh, very clearly a super important character right there. All righty. Um, let's talk to hot lady with a gun, Carly. Yo, what's up? You're a pretty good shot. You don't fuck with a reporter, especially oh shit, reporter too. That's one of the sexiest talking. occupations. You handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. That's not true. Can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. Ooh. I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy. Ooh, that's. Over there. Is there a dog around? Because that's pretty rough. She was an asshole, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, huh. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, okay. That fucking guy saved you. <laughs> I love that. And he's just like that guy. Whatever the hell they are. You sure? Our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. Interesting. Tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute, in that parents' basement sort of way. The fuck? Huh? Oh, nothing. She's embarrassed. Well, how'd you end up here? You end up here. We drove up to cover the cherry blossom festival. Oh, Cherry Blossom Festival. That's like my favorite fucking festival. Um, I love the Cherry Blossom Festival. I love Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossoms are my favorite flower. If you ever want to propose to me, just give me a Cherry Blossom. What? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I 
can't get it to work though. Here. I'm not sure if you heard that, but my spouse is struggling with the social interaction in a video game, and it's adorable. All right, let's turn up the volume and turn on the power. Well, that didn't work. Nothing. Nothing. Let's check the back. Oh. There are no batteries. No batteries. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. Oops. I try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Batteries, Mrs. Reporter. Um, so I work. I work at an electronics store, and uh, I work at customer service, which means I handle returns. And the amount of people that return computers, and it's like it's not working, and I'm just so positive they just forgot to turn on the breaker switch on their power supply. <laughs> oh my god, it's just it's kind of it's kind of heartbreaking a little bit. Alrighty, so we found one battery, but we also have this energy bar, and someone we know and care about is hungry, so we should feed them. And we know that we need two batteries, so I will get the second battery. Look for the second battery. So I gave the energy bar to Clementine. Hey, hey, fuckers, you want this energy bar? Well, too fucking bad, you idiots. I'm not sure I got your name. Yeah, it's Lee. It's Lee. My dad's Larry. Yeah, we already know that. Lily and Larry. What I had to earlier. Loser. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. Yeah, I, I don't need that shit. No, you needed to hear that. You to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting dick. You you and that violence You deserve that. Dad. I didn't do anything. I threatened him. Yes. But you're a piece of shit. What's Fuck you. Yeah, what's He's wrong with him? Heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin well, maybe he shouldn't be threatening to kill children, and because that apparently excites him, makes his heart go a flutter and break. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, <laughs> he's got a temper. Yeah, fuck you too. Yes, he does. He trying to kill the. Yeah. <laughs> you got kids and family. I'm sure he's a good guy. They'll know. He's a piece of shit. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Yeah. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Yeah, don't he's make him the reason it's, everything's screwed. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason that everything's screwed, even though I know that he threatened to kill the children. And he just loves killing children. No, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. Yep. She's been surviving by herself. Yeah. Pretty pretty intense right there only way it would have been more intense if it happened in a tent but um well she's lucky to have you you're damn right she's lucky to have me and you know who's lucky to not have you everybody else you're from here I work at Warner Robins I love hating these characters so much I'm a very hateful person so when you give me a character that I can hate to like my fullest ability I, I appreciate it so much I work up at UGA was anyone here anyone here when you guys got here no this place was pretty wrecked we pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh, oh God. A, a couple of bodies out the office. Oh, go, jeez. Go, my. Do you know anybody here? Nope. Uh, I totally knew them. We were, yeah, we were close. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out because they weren't really dead. Okay, I'm gonna be okay. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking Ooh. around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. Oh yeah, that's uh, we need to it's pretty bad, I guess. Get through this. Well, we gotta I stick together. To him now. Yeah, you get back to your child murdering father. Make sure he doesn't die. Except I hope he fucking does. You fucking goddamn cunt. 